Welcome to Electron Online, and here we have an example of how to determine whether or not this particular vector field is a conservative vector field or not. We do that by taking the curl. If the curl equals zero, it is a conservative vector field. If it's not equal to zero, then it's not a conservative vector field. So let's go ahead and find the curl of this vector field. So this is equal to i times the partial with respect to y of 3xy squared z squared. Subtract from that the partial with respect to z of this quantity here, which is 2xyz cubed. And then we subtract from that the j direction times, we take the partial with respect to x times 3x y squared z squared minus the partial with respect to z of y squared z cubed. And finally, plus the k direction times, and so we take the partial with respect to x of this quantity right here, which is 2xyz cubed minus the partial with respect to y of this quantity here, which is y squared z cubed. And let's see what we get. In the i direction, we get uh, the partial with respect to y. This is 6xyz squared, 6xyz squared, minus the partial with respect to z. That's 3 times 2. That's 6xyz squared, 6 xyz squared and right away you realize those are equal to each other they cancel each other out so there's no i component minus j times the partial of this with respect to x which is 3y squared z squared 3y squared z squared minus the partial with respect to z of this which is 3y squared z squared And it looks like this goes to zero as well. And then we have plus the k component. And here we take this with respect to x. So we have 2yz cubed, 2yz cubed minus, take the partial of this with respect to y, we get 2yz cubed, 2yz cubed. And you can see that in each case, each of the components cancel out. So this gives us zero in the i direction plus zero in the j direction, plus zero in the k direction. And since we have zero for the curl of the vector field, that means the vector field must be conservative. So therefore, it is conservative. And that's how we do that.